Okay, I have here a little bit of ready-made buttercream. It's pro-bake. I'm not sure if it's already available in the Philippines. But I'm just going to try it out today. And then, of course, I will color it with cross oil-based food color. This is super violet. Okay, two drops. Maybe too much. We'll see. Oops, coloring really well. Nice lavender color. The good thing about Cross is it can color anything that's oil-based, but it can also color regular frostings like um, boiled icing, uh, royal icing, and even fondant. I'm going to put it in my piping bag right here. I just want to do a uh, two-toned buttercream. So I'm going to color a little bit of it in a darker shade. I really love Super Violet. I've been using this for I think maybe four years or three years. So you just swipe it on one side and you fill up your piping bag with the other color, the lighter color. This looks like ice cream. Okay. There. So I now have two toned buttercream. I'm going to put the dark streak in the. See, I look. If you look at the tip, there's a fat side and there's a thin side. I'm going to put the darker streak in the inner part of the. Um, <coughs> in the wider part of the petal tip so that when I pipe the flower the inner streak will be in the inner part of the flower stick us the streak is still about to come out, so I'm just going to do a regular one color five petal flower. There. Nice and smooth. I love it. Remove those colors. waiting for the dark streak to come out. It doesn't want to come out. You just got to love that color. Go 
going to do See, the dark streak has finally come out. So now I am going to do that five petal flower again. There you go, finally. Trick has come out in the middle and it's so pretty. So there, this is how easy it is to use oil-based food color by Cross. So if you guys are interested in this, then you can contact the people that are going to be tagged on this post. Thanks for watching, guys.